Hello and welcome to Toffee TV. This is my instant match reaction from Burnley 2, Everton 1 at Turf Moor. Um, start off with the lineup. Um, where to begin? Where to begin? I thought it was quite a positive lineup to actually be fair. Um, Coleman coming back and then to see Tossin and Calvert Lewin put up top. So, like, I thought, in fairness, to Aradice, he had been listening to the fans. We've been crying out to play two up top because we've been so isolated playing the ass up there by himself. And the ball's consistently going up to him and just consistently coming back. Um, I thought in the first half, uh, I thought every time we had the ball going forward with Walcott, Sigurdsson and, and Tossin and uh, Calvert-Lewin linking up quite well. Tossin actually, to be fair, every time he got the ball, he kind of took it in and he laid it off simple as much as he could. Uh, I thought Sigurdsson had a quite good game too. But... Um, just in terms of our play, I mean, every time we had the ball going forward, I thought that we, we looked dangerous. And for the first time away from home, like, in a long time, every attack we had, we looked like we could score from. Or we looked just dangerous in general. They were getting in quite a bit anyway with crosses and stuff like that, but we seemed to be mopping it up fine. And then, uh, you know, I was quite positive. Once we, um, Some lovely play, I think it was Sigurdsson broke up the play originally gets the ball, gives it off, and then he gets it again, gives it out to Walcott, Walcott whips it in, and Seamus flicks it on then for Tossin, and we're 1-0 up, and we really seem to kind of grow a couple of feet in ourselves um, going forward then, and we really seem to have that little bit of confidence which we've been lacking in recent games. But then whatever happens, we started to let them back into it, and then, you know, coming, uh, we, go into, we go into half time, and uh, I'm thinking, oh, okay, lovely. If we can, if we can just keep it tight, uh, we, can, we can nick another one here because we did look like we were gonna we we're gonna score another one. And then whatever the fuck happened at halftime, whatever Allardyce said to them, but they just they came out and they were the the same everything we've been watching for weeks now, just lackluster, just 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 oh, I don't even know the word. They just look so lackadaisy is the word I'm looking for, but they just look so lackadaisy in every single thing they do. And that that back three of Martina, Keane and Williams, they're just not good enough. I'm mean, I'm looking at the players around them. We have we have Sigurdsson, we've Walcott, we've Tossen, we've got Ganagay, we've got Coleman, we've got very good players, and then we have the players that don't compliment them, the likes of Kuko the Clown. Uh, Ashley Williams, another fucking muppet. Uh, Michael Keane, I mean, how he lets that ball come in behind him for Ashley Barnes's goal uh, is beyond me. I thought that a lot, like Jerry, Jamie Carragher came out and started blaming Pickford for the goal. Well, I don't think it was his fault at all. I, I believe that between the two fucking numpties that we have playing centre back. Uh, one of them should have sensed and one of them should have gone I thought Williams could have came across and covered instead of pointing and then he just lets him in he has a free shot in the 6 yard box and the Premier League player genuinely generally sorry isn't going to miss a chance like that um, although in the first half T.O. Walcott missed a chance um, around that sort of area which he should have left for Davis Butcher um, nothing you can do about that it was just one of them but uh yeah, and then once they score, then all of a sudden oh, we look shaky at the back. The same old problems keep on happening. We're afraid of the ball in the air. And then we had a couple of chances to, to win it, which which surprised me. Sigurdsson had a chance, and then um, someone else had a chance. I can't remember now, but someone else had a chance. But then we had, we had all these chances, and then they go down the other end, and Kuko, the fucking clown, is on the floor flapping at the ball and then Guy goes to kick the ball and there's a whole lot of confusion and then Aaron Lennon, of course, comes back to haunt us. I thought he had the skin and Martina all day fucking long. Oh, it was painful to watch. I, oh. How that guy is a Premier League footballer is beyond me. He is terrible. I don't care what anyone says. He is awful. I don't understand why Alaris has Leighton Baines on the bench and he doesn't play him. Coleman was injured for a lot for a lot longer and a really much more serious injury. And he comes straight into the team without any shadow of a doubt. He's in, he's playing, he's playing 90 minutes, he's playing 90 minutes again today. 
Um, and Baines doesn't even come on. Like, it's bizarre, 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 bizarre. But, uh, yeah, pussy footing around, and Lennon takes it on, goes out for a corner, and long behold, Ashley Williams, our great centre back, who is afraid to pick up his man, isn't capable of picking up his man, and then is blaming everybody else when he scores. And then, of course, when we really, really need our players to step up to the plate, a free kick comes in and he elbows, or it could have been a corner, but he elbows Ashley Barnes and gets sent off. What a fucking tosser. Just please, if, you, if you're watching this, do not ever put on an Everton shirt again. You are terrible. You should just just not. You should, they should extend your band to the end of the season. I'd rather have Funes fucking Mori in there than you. Jesus, it, it just showed how much he just doesn't care about everything. It's all about him, and because he was getting frustrated, he decided that he was going to get sent off. So it cost us the result because we were piled on the pressure at that point. Uh, in terms of the substitutions, I thought when Rooney came on, I thought it was it was intelligent at the time. We needed someone to come in, take the ball down, calm it down. And he did that. But unfortunately, he has Kuko the Clown and fucking Ashley Williams and Michael Keane, the slowest uh, partnership I've ever seen in my life. It's probably slower than Stubbs and Weir. Uh, but fuck me. Sorry for all the cursing, but I'm just so annoyed. I, I, oh, I, can't, I can't. I'm losing the will to actually watch us anymore. After Watford last week, then this week. Nias, when he came on, I thought he was unlucky with a volley. Uh, that was the other chance I was thinking of. He had a kind of like a bicycle kick volley from Seamus Coleman again, uh, the furthest man forward for us. Um, it was a header. And uh, then um, Nias comes in with a flying type of volley, which um, Lukaku nearly scored with for Man United last week. But anyway, um, just. Where do we go from here? Like, we are fucking... We're shy. Unless he brings in Jagielka and Baines and he steadies the ship up. I'm so happy that Ashley Williams is suspended. I wish we could extend it to the end of the season, but we need to start showing something. It's not... like the, It's like the players do not care. I feel for players like Dominic Cavalier and Thomas Day or Tom Davis because they're the ones that are trying. They're the ones that that want to win. You can see it. They're the ones that are the ones flying at the challenges. They're the ones that are trying to, you know, lift the performance, get the fans going. But the rest of them, they just don't seem to care. I thought Pickford was fantastic. Barnett won, uh, the first goal. He could have came out and narrowed the angle a little bit better. But other than that, I I couldn't really fault him. I I thought he had a fantastic game without him. They could have won by about three or four one, um, but again we're we're it's, we're coming out with the same things every week where it's Pickford saving us, or we're getting a we're getting a goal and we're hanging on for dear life instead of trying to go for it. Today we did try to go for it, but whatever was said at half time, fucked us up. Um, I haven't really got too much more to say about because I'm just I'm just annoyed. I'm just gonna end up repeating myself, um. But uh, look, check out the other lads' uh, match reactions. Um, and if you're a fan of, if you're Irish or you're a fan of Irish football, uh, in any way, check out my YouTube channel, Irish Football Fan TV. And uh, don't forget to give this video a like and uh, give the lads a subscribe if you haven't already. And give my channel a subscribe, please. Um, thank you very much for watching Toffee TV. Have a great day.